Hi everyone, Bruce here. Octagonal craters? What do you think of that, an octagon? Well, we're near Hyginus Crater right here. We're gonna go see the triangular one just on the bottom, which I've shown before, but look at that octagonal one. Someone asked me, are there square craters? The crater itself actually looks square on the top, and you see that it's like octagonal around it, triangular there. Uh, there's Hyginus Crater with the arrow right there, and that's exactly where we were. One of my favorite areas of viewing it or, or ways of viewing it is inverting the photo quite simply but taking down the exposure check it out mayor Christian bottom left and we'll see the mares as we're going down but look at what's occurring in the center and look at the bumpiness and and the fuzziness it's beautiful that's the atmosphere that's over top of the moon also do you see how i'm not oscillating like you know most telescopes uh, and video of telescopes where we see that massive uh, a shake and oscillation, which I'm trying to take down for you all so that we can see the surface. The Royal Hadley right here, Apollo 15 would have supposedly landed there and we're seeing some colors on the surface and a massive line going uh, across, which they did mention a massive wall where they would have landed. Just throwing this one in there, a deep sky object. We don't always know what the stars are. And here the telescope was picking up um, these lights coming from it or whizzing by it could be meteors, UFOs, who knows? But we, we see this uh, short frame here uh, with live footage of my 14 inch telescope. Pretty cool. Three objects that appear beside this nebula or star, whatever, beautiful cloud, which is what our own solar system and galaxy would look like if we were leaving it, right? We just see this beautiful cloud and dust. Manilius crater was fighting with a couple of people. Again, that's saying that that cavity that caved in is beside Manilius. It is, but no, it's not. It's more to the left and it's beside Hyginus. It's actually on Hyginus Crater, right along the it's the east side. But did you see um, the structures all around it, natural or not? Look at all the bumps and objects. And what you see, that's what they've never showed us. And this is all what I'm trying to show. It's what I've always wanted to find out, just see the surface, even if you don't have the understanding exactly what it is. Here it is without the filter, Manilius, bottom right. Rima, Hyginus Crater, right there. And look to the right of the Hyginus Crater. Look at all the bumps there. That's where they said it caved in. There was like something caving in. Around Manilius Crater, we definitely see also some types of objects and structuring. Copernicus, what's on those objects? They're symmetrical. They're right leaned up only a few miles from um, Copernicus Crater, but look over to the left really look over to the left we can see the structures even some symmetrical ones i'll get some arrows up as we're slowly advancing into the photo let your eyes adjust and this is really cool because it's the surface around copernicus crater so look at all the elevation over to the right there and definite structures that i just showed on the corner so long me but look at the beautiful surface some type of growth around it do you see the patchiness what i'm talking about patchiness you can definitely see it. It's not, the photo's not blurry. The surface has this, um, see, there they are, objects. Um, there they are again, more objects. They're all over the surface, elevations, levels, lines, side by side, can very well be seen on the surface. These beams of light really intrigue me as they rise up into the sky off the surface of the moon, but between them, yeah, when you take down the exposure, you could see some more symmetrical and curved lines. I'm sorry, if that's ejecta, that's, there must have been some people working to keep the ejecta nice and straight because that's ridiculous. So long me. Again, it's just my opinion and I have no proof. I'm not here. Um, I'm here to show what I'm seeing. See the lines running again. Communications. There's, uh, listen, I can't say it enough. There's so many signs of manipulation of the moon surface and signs of construction. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of of times that I'm showing that. What's the square light? Always there, always square, and that white and dark material side by side. This could be some massive ma machinery because now I'm looking at objects, and again, Copernicus is just on the top left there, guys, okay? Look at the massive, even lines at the bottom of this. Hard to see, yes, but listen, it's real. <laughs> it's real research. It's not just uh, a made up 
software so you can get a nice surface and see UFOs go by and pause it to see it. It doesn't work. You're looking at a fast UFO going by. If you pause it, you're not going to see the UFO because it's high velocity speeds that we're ca the cameras are capturing this. Two other lines on the surface there and there's that patchiness again that we see. And why do I say patchiness? Because you can see it looks like something thrown over high elevated structures. Really looks like machinery at times, I'm telling you. Maybe it's some big object that they're building on the surface. Like, I don't know, maybe I'll go back and it won't be there anymore. <laughs> well, we're definitely gonna find out because I'll be gathering uh, more and more footage to try to see the surface as it changes, obviously. But so far, the changes are very small. They understand that these are zoomed up. They're magnified, that's all they are. And they're very hard to see um, by just looking at regular footage because obviously, you know, where it's further away. You could see the edge of Copernicus on top for Pete's sakes. It's 80 kilometers about or 83 kilometers, um, the crater itself. So imagine how close we are. It's not that hard to understand the scale and the size of it. What about this, these lines connecting? It's deliberately placed like a muffler or some type of object connecting to the other area. It's not ejecta and you can see that very clearly. Loch Ness monster in the background there. <laughs> some type of pipe or something. It's uh, either lying on the ground or elevated up in the air. It's always hard to tell the difference. Beautiful, 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 beautiful Maris Serenitatis surface structures and anomalies. Oh yeah. See how I'm moving? You see how the objects don't move? It's not pixelation. They're really objects. They almost look like block objects. And you go as far as saying buildings, I'll tell you that because obviously I know how an overhead view of, the, of Earth looks like in photos like anyone can do. Check it with the public. But here, yeah, we're seeing uh, there's a Bessel crater inside of Mare Serenitatis along that line. It's a whole setup, different elevations and everything. And, you know, we were told Mare Serenitatis uh, was flat. And, uh, nope, it ain't flat at all. Now, let's go and see some beautiful close-up shots with a 14-inch telescope. Thanks for watching, everyone. Another beautiful finding on the surface. Look beside the UFO. More lights, right? All the time, but watch this type of light. I really like, ah, it's something new. It's like a, a line, right? On the surface that's appearing. Like someone is lighting up a strip on the surface somehow. More proof, you know, that someone or something's up there. Look at the sky the other day, just a couple of days ago. Um, very, very red. This is the same day that Indonesia was talking about the my effect, M-I-E, um, and the sky and why the sky is red, so they say. But it does look like the, the end of the world. Alien address.
fire.